the Thoughty Orty podcast. The, hosp- the hospital's the place that I think of the most when I think of the downs, the the really negative side of not managing sensory environments because the hospital's supposed to be a place that you go to when you need help, when your health is in 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 difficulty. And a lot of autistic people will actually put off yeah. getting help for stuff because they know that they're going to have to go into a hospital. Yep. Um, you've got those aspects of the fluorescent lights, the reflective floors, the 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 scented cleaning yes. products, the coffee lounges, the the busy waiting rooms the with no opportunity machines. to the beeping machines. Um, Other people in so distress. Many, mm, yeah. There's there's so many aspects to to that environment. I mean, not not even talking about you know getting shots and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even like um, the heavy stuff. Like yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. Just being in the presence of a hospital is is mm. a lot to deal with. Let alone if you are having a medical procedure. And that's that's a really big issue because if we kind of if you if you instill that these ho- these hospitals are. A negative place at a young age or, or even places like the dentist or the haircut the hairdressers um being being others that can that can really impact someone's ability to you know get their access teeth healthcare. sorted out yeah access health care get get their the their haircut it's and causing trauma free. exactly um so we, we did a lot of adjustments there uh there was a lot of talk about you know monitoring the contrast um Providing sensory safe spaces, uh, of course, adjusting the lights, um, offer offering sensory supports to be used, um, you know, for situations where you can't control the noise due to the amount of people there. Um, just little things like that. We kind of we kind of did some some like sensory training to like make some of the um, hospital staff more aware of these these things and and be a bit more proactive in. Um, talking to the young people about the changes that they're making and stuff. Um, just little things like that, I think, can be can be really really useful. Um, yeah. in in those public public settings, and and quite often they're not very expensive at all. They're very cheap. They're just it's just adjustments. Yeah, it, you just need someone to go in and be accountable and actually do the 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 damn work, um, which is. Often the the hardest thing about any any workplaces or <laughs> institutions yeah. or organizations, uh, public spaces, it's getting someone to actually just go in and do it or yeah. just commission someone to do it. It's just so complex. And it is complex, and I like how you said it's about being proactive. We don't need to just do a band aid fix. Uh, we're not treating the outside external behavior, but we're actually um looking at making the environment safe 